I just want to help I you. I don't need your kind of help. Hey, she's the best friend you've ever had. And don't do your victim of society routine for me, please. You're the one who went after Felicia. You're the one who took the gun. You're in this mess because of you, so don't lay it off on her. You want the gun? Yeah, I want the gun. Here. I can handle you all by myself, Jake. Well, then why don't you go on? Why don't you give it your best shot, Donna? Tell me, what was I threatening, huh? I got Stephen back to sleep. You can go now, Jake. Not until I figure out what you're up to. We're not up to anything. Then why are you two guys always together, whispering, huh? We're not. Well, come on, Vicky. At the shower and then the wedding and even when Stephen was in the hospital, you guys are always together, always whispering. What's up? Jake, do you know what the word paranoid means? What are you worrying about, Granny? Vicky tell you something you didn't want to hear, like who Daddy is? I'll tell you what I'm worried about. I have just learned to tolerate that you married one of my daughters. Do I have to tolerate the fact that every time I come to visit my other one, you're in her home? I guess so. I don't know how to make this any plainer. I want you to leave Victoria and Jamie and Stephen alone. And if you have any foolish notions in your head, I suggest you get rid of them. What do you think, Vic? Think I got some foolish notions in my head, huh? Yes. Well, then I guess there'll be no harm in checking around, will there? If you cause any more trouble, so help me, I will make mother, sure that you're you just to something, making right? things worse. Otherwise, Big Donna wouldn't be in such a lather. Isn't that right, Donna? Because I'm sick and tired of being blamed for everything that goes wrong in this you, family. Are you denying that you pushed her to do that story? No harder than I'd push any other you person who works for You have resented her since the day she was born. Oh. Daddy, do I have to listen to this? Rachel, this is no time for you two to get into your... Hey, people, please. I'm trying to talk to Julianne here. Could you please keep it down? Has she heard anything? No, but I'm trying to get a list of sources on that video match story from her. That video match story? She was so yeah. eager to please you that she is now in danger. Oh, Daddy, I will not listen to this. I think the best thing I can do is leave. Iris, can't you understand? We're under a lot of tension. We're worried. Yes, I know, darling, and I just don't want to... I don't want to increase the burden for you. All right, dear. Iris, wait a second. What is it, Sam? This is a list of sources. Could you look at it and see if you, you know if a man has worked with any of these people? Sure. I'll be happy to do anything I can to help Amanda. Rachel, I know Don't, what you... Mac. All right. She brought tea sandwiches. Tea sandwiches. Our daughter is in danger. She brings tea sandwiches. I know it is inept, but can't you see she wants to... I don't do... want to see. I'm sick of trying to understand her, Mac. I know she's your daughter and you love her, but I don't. As far as I'm concerned, she is a threat to everything I do love. <clears throat> Sam, I'm sorry. None of these are familiar to me. Look, why don't I make some calls? That might help. I have no desire to stay in this room any longer. Good. Iris. Okay. Come on, Amanda. That's a good girl. You got it. Come on, Amanda. Oh, you got it. That's a squeeze. Come on. Come on. Come on. Cut. What is that, some kind of security device? Cut! Print! I think we've got a hit on our hands here. The Life and Loves of Julia. A real blockbuster, eh, Evan? Showtime. Now, if you just move inside and join me, I have a little preview. Say something. What do you want me to say, Cass? Just something. We were so quiet in the car. Well, I figured that you have all the answers. I'll let you do the talking, huh? Come on, Stacy. Cass, he was my lead, and I was handling him my way. No, you were handling him his way. What the hell is that supposed to mean? This isn't a corporate litigation. You don't know these street guys. Oh! But you do, obviously, because you handled the whole thing so brilliantly just Stacey, now. Stacy, he would have strung you along forever. He just wants to know what we know about him. We wouldn't have found the gun without Derek. For all the good it does us now. It all would have worked out, Cass, if you had just stayed out. He would have signed the statement. He wouldn't have signed anything. 
Oh, you're so sure of yourself. All I'm sure of is what he's done. Does a nice guy do something like this? Send things like this to Felicia? A good person like Felicia? You know what this probably means? It probably means that he was going to grab her. He was going to kidnap no, her. No, Stacy. Cass. He tormented her with that music. He made her go to that church. He, he made her remember all of that stuff about her stepfather over and over and oh, over Cass, again. he'll explain everything to me. If I ever see him again. You won't. What? I'm running this investigation. And from here on in, I'm handling Derek. You gotta be kidding me. You're pulling rank on me? I have to. Something about this guy has gotten to you, Stacy. Cass, that's a lie! You're more interested in protecting him than in defending Felicia. How can you say that? I was the one who found him. I'm the one who went into those back alleys and, and got him to trust me. Look at yourself, Cass. It was me who was going to deliver that testimony for Felicia. But no, you got to come in and play macho man. I treated him no differently than I treat anybody who's done what he's done. Without any regard to, to due process or any kind of procedure? Stacy, you don't go by the book with a guy like that. I did, and it worked. I told him that he could believe in the law, that he could trust it, and that it was fair, and that maybe it would help him. But then you come in and you blow all my work straight to no, hell. No, no, no. You know what you did? You pampered him. And that'll never work. You gotta show him who's in control. Oh, sure. And you showed him, didn't you? Last time we saw him, he was out of here so fast. Where are you going? Where are you going? I'm going to find your key witness for you, Counselor. And whether you know it or not, Cass, you need me. Over there. And do as he says. Andrews is wonderful with that gun. He impressed everybody at military school with his marksmanship. Military school, that figures. Poor Andrews. Couldn't get a job in the cold, hard, cruel world as a marksman. Then he came to me. It's amazing how handy he's become. Almost invaluable. Stan, I don't know what you're up to, but can't you just let her go? Let Amanda go? I don't think so. She's the linchpin in my entire plan. She's what makes it work. Amanda stays. She's not exactly low profile, Dustin. Her old man is one of the wealthiest men in the country. And he's not stupid either. Well, how long do you think it's gonna be before he wises up and he realizes that his daughter is staying away on her own free will? I've thought of that. He's gonna have detectives combing this area. All he has to do is make one phone call to one of his really influential friends. And they're gonna send in the Marines. <laughs> <laughs> that won't do at all. Andrews has a bit of a grudge against the military. Dustin. Just let her go. I won't have to. After Mr. Corey receives a call from his daughter assuring him that everything's all right. No, I won't do it. So I think you might have to. Evan? Come on. Just trust me. It's okay. Good work, Evan. And it better be convincing. Andrews has perfectionism drilled into him at military school. He doesn't stand for slip-ups. Well, he didn't sound very hopeful. He's a police officer, darling. I don't think they train him to be optimist, but he is looking into it. I'm sorry that I... Screamed at you about Iris. I know how infuriating she is, Rachel. I know, but she is your daughter, and you do love her, and you've been very worried about her. And now... And now we get to worry about Amanda. If anything happens it to her... It won't, Amanda. darling. We just have to believe. That's all. We have to believe. I'm, uh... I'm sorry it took so long. Hilda called me downstairs. Ellie was crying. She all right? She misses her ma. She probably senses that something's wrong. Mackenzie Corey. Amanda, I oh, can't God. believe oh, it, Amanda. We've goodness. been so worried. I know, that's why I called. I, I thought that you'd be getting upset, but I'm fine. Amanda! Darling, are you all right? I just told Daddy I'm fine. Oh. Could, could I have the phone, please? Honey, Sam is here. Amanda? Sam? How's the baby doing? She misses you, yeah, but other than that, 
Look, tell her I'll come home as soon as I can. As soon as I can. Amanda, listen, I want you to tell me the truth. Are you in trouble? No, why, why would you think that? Well, the last time you called, it was such a short phone call, and you called me Sammy. Listen, is somebody forcing you to make these calls? No. Look, I'm sorry I haven't been in touch. I know you, you're probably furious. I mean, just running off like this, huh? Well, I haven't really had time to be furious. I've been too scared. Ask where she is. And when she's coming home. Listen, so. your parents are worried, too. They want to know where you are and when you're coming home, and so do I. Look, Sam, I'm onto something really big. I just can't risk everything, you know, telling anybody where I am. Amanda. I'm doing everything that I can to get home to you and Allie. Well, when are you going to call again? I don't know. I don't get to use the phone that often. Amanda, what the hell is this? If Allie cries for me, just do what I always do, okay? Read her the mouse book. Did you hear me? Look, Amanda, I love you and I miss you so much. When are you going to come home? I love you, too. Hey, it's all right. It's all right. Yeah. All right, Dustin, I've had enough of your stories about movies and marksmen. I don't know what the deal is. Deal? Deals are your forte. That's true. And I know a good one from a load of horsemen, Norton. I want to know what's going on, Dustin. 